The Nets officially named Jacques Vaughn to be their head coach. This ends whatever discussion the Nets had with Ime Udoka. Well, man, this is your beat. What does it say to you that the Nets are sticking with Vaughn rather than hiring Udoka? Tony, you know what it says to me. You know what I was saying last week. The Nets weren't going to get to hire Ime Udoka. And I'm not saying Udoka doesn't deserve a second chance. He does. Just not with that team. That team, which is up to its neck in dysfunction, if not flat-out shame, cannot bring in, we talk about the optics on the afternoon after the election, the, 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 the optics of that are untenable. You can't bring Ime Udoka, give it his own personal shame, into that franchise now. That's a non-starter. And I, I don't know whether Adam Silver behind the scenes picked up the phone or met, you know, with Joe Sy and said, we're not having that. You ought to be embarrassed enough before we even get to that attempted hire. We're not having that. Tony, I thought about what would happen if the late great commissioner David Stern had been in the office when the Nets tried to pull this. Oh, my God. It would have been volcanic, the reaction yeah. and the denial of opportunity. So this was never happening. Jacques Vaughn has been an assistant coach for seven years. I know he didn't have a great stint as a head coach, but he was with Orlando. Who does in a sense like Chuck Daly? Nobody. So Stan Van Gundy. So no. You put him in, you put Jacques Vaughn in, and there's some stability in a yeah. place where they haven't had stability in years. I agree completely about Udoka. I believe until that entire situation is totally vetted with his conduct in Boston, he can't coach in the NBA. And I think somebody in the NBA told the Nets that and said, just stop this. We'll get to Jacques Vaughn's record in Orlando was 58 and 158, which is Kurt Rambis territory. So I'm not going to try to make him into Pat Riley. But since he's been a coach, they're two and two. Kyrie Irving missed three of those games. Maybe that's why they won two of them, if they won two of them. Their defense is certainly better. I was told today that when Kyrie Irving was out on the floor, the Nets had the worst defense in the worst. NBA. Dead yeah. last. And in the three games he's missed, they're tied for second best. That ought to tell you something. Two Look, and one in those games. We all think, we all think that the Lakers are a soap opera. Because they are a soap opera. This place is worse. There's oh, yeah. no chain of command Much here worse. whatsoever. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant do whatever they want. They pay attention to nothing. You have a GM, Sean Marks, gets out there and talks like a carnival barker. Nobody even, nobody listens to him. They got Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant and Ben Simmons are miniseries unto themselves. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.